Hey you, this is Drew. Today we're going to be talking about the Hulk. So Dr. Bruce Banner was a smart physicist and was involved in an experiment gone wrong with a gamma bomb, which caused him to turn into the Hulk, but not in the way that we know him today. Definitely not that. I meant not like this. So the Hulk was originally gray and only turned into the Hulk at night. Rich Jones was one of his only allies at the time that knew he was Dr. Banner. Due to printing issues, he was later turned to be green, but years later, it was said that the Grey Hulk was another personality of his called Joe Fixit, who is a monster in Las Vegas that's really smart, which I can cover him here if y'all are interested. But anyway, so Rick Jones and the Green Savage Hulk went on many journeys in the early days, but this one time, Loki caused an illusion of Hulk having a rampage, where the other remaining Avengers first met up to stop him. I kind of want to cover their first battle though, if, um, but like I said, there's so much to cover. But Hulk eventually got angry shortly after joining the team and left to join the circus as Meccano, leaving Rick Jones behind. So the Hulk is fueled by his rage. Basically, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. One of his strongest forms is World War Hulk, which I'd love to cover here if y'all are interested too. Like I said, man, there's so much to cover. And it's not even just about the Hulk. It's like everything. But basically in that story, what it is, is the Illuminati, Marvel's smartest heroes who gathered together in private, decided that the Hulk was too dangerous and decided to ship him off-world. They had set the destination to be a peaceful planet, but with the Hulk's rage just going wild inside that satellite, it caused the satellite to go off course and into a wormhole and made him land on the gladiator planet of Sakaar that we saw in the movie Thor Ragnarok. The Hulk worked his way up the ranks, defeating the Red King and became the ruler of the planet. He had found love with Gaia the Old Strong, who was pregnant with his son. Long story short, some of the Red King's supporters were messing with his ship, causing it to detonate and kill Kyra and his unborn son. This made him super angry because he thought it was the Illuminati's doing. So he gets a crew called the Warbound and heads back to Earth seeking revenge. His first stop is with Black Bolt, and basically Black Bolt's voice is super powerful and you just see the Hulk just going straight through it like it's nothing. That's one of the coolest Hulk moments ever in my opinion. Oh, and he snapped his neck, yikes. Okay, I'm getting too carried away, but yeah, so he puts obedience discs to make the Illuminati fight each other, and he's eventually stopped by the Sentry and reverts back to Bruce Banner, where he remains like that for a while. But let me get back on track though. Anyways, back in the day, Banner's cousin Jennifer Walters was shot and lost, lost, lost a lot of blood. Man, that's a tongue twister. But um, basically, um, so Banner gave her a blood transfusion and turned it into She-Hulk, except she can transform herself at will and control her rage. The Hulk even joined a team led by Doctor Strange called the Defenders, and he's faced several foes such as the Leader, Abomination, General Talbot, Thunderbolt Ross, who eventually became the Red Hulk, and even his future self, Maestro Hulk, which we can cover all those characters here if y'all want me to, but thank y'all for checking out this video, leave a comment below, and like and follow for more.